welcome back uh, the further part of design of transformer we'll see here so what else uh, what is the remaining part in which we have to show some detailing like these nut bolts tappings and top view in details so we'll start with top view first or you may say this is side view so let us draw the tank uh, this is the tank which is having height so let us see the dimension of tank so here you may observe that the height of the tank is 928 and the width of the tank is 829 so let us draw the tank i will draw one rectangle of 829 by 928 so this is nothing but the dimension of tag that is 829 by 928 that is width and height and we have to place it exactly at the by uh, maintaining the distance so for that purpose i will just draw one reference line over here and based on that we will move this object by taking this as a base point and place it here so you may observe here that tank is placed exactly at this uh, particular location at which the distance between these two side it remains same now if you observe here in this drawing all the laminations are stacked by using some metal clamp c-shape clamp so we have to show that and it is from this point to this one so i will draw one rectangle for that purpose like this uh, due to this rectangle uh, these lines will not be visible uh, before going for uh, further we have to show this nut bolt so for that purpose we require some center point so what i will do i will just draw one line here like this after this I will take a projections from this point to get the center like this okay so at this location we require nut bolt so I will just copy this with respect to center as a base point and place it here but the size of this nut bolt as shown in this figure it is larger than this one so what we will do i will just scale this with respect to base point as 1.2 times that means scale factor is 1.2 and once this is finalized i will just copy this and paste it with this as a base point here at this point so i got these two nut bolt we have to show this one this one and this one also so for that purpose i will again draw one line over here so that i will get the midpoint and at these locations we have to draw we have to replace this nut bolt so i will just copy this with respect to this base point and paste it here like this so once this is over i will just delete this line which is not required to me okay as i said as these are the channel which are fixing the laminations so for that purpose uh, this code will not be visible here so i will just delete this line okay in this figure this nut bolt it is not visible due to this uh, tappings that's why we, are, we haven't drawn here after that see to have some gap between a uh, tank and uh, this core there is a uh, some wooden part so i have to show that so i will just draw one line from this point to this point like this and exactly at the same distance we require here so i will take mirror of this line with respect to this
so i will draw another line at this location like this okay so in between this we have to show this wooden portion so what i will do i will use a rectangle command here and i will explore this so that i will be able to delete this line and extend this line up to this portion okay once this is over i will use hatch command here the pattern of hatching it will be x i will select uh, this scale factor as 18 and after selecting the pick point i will click ok so that i will get this type of structure we have to copy this towards this side also so what i will do i will just use mirror instruction with respect to this center point so that i will get it here also whatever the excess part that i will trim it okay once this is over i will take its mirror so that i will get it at the bottom side also so in this way i will select these lines which i have to copy or i want to do it as a mirror at the bottom so use mirror okay so see here this is just a re replicated over here and i will just trim this portion which is not required by me okay once this part is over we have to show this bottom side support and for that purpose i will use a rectangle again and i'm going to take offset of this rectangle inside again i will use explode instruction so that i will be able to delete this line and i will extend this portion here like this and this line up to this okay see in between this these two line we require hatching so i will use hatch command and the pattern will be like this one add pick point but keeping scale as a 18 so i will get this type of structure i will just take its mirror with respect to this center and you may observe that this is replicated over here then what else we have to show the tappings but before going for tapping what we will do we will just uh, make sure that this structure is over so this clamp it is in this top view it is shown by this line okay so i will take projections of this clamp yes and i will draw one clamp by using rectangle from this point to in this way see here if you observe here in this portion the channel or that uh, c shape channel it is not visible so i will just trim this portion in between these two lines and winding because it is not visible like this okay then here half of the portion in which that channel is not visible that means we have to take a section so what i will do i will just trim this one okay so once this part is over and for this limb only channel is visible that one is not visible so accordingly what i will do for this portion i will delete this part okay once this part is over i will take mirror of this 
towards downside with respect to this center point so i will just use mirror with respect to this point so that i will get channel towards downside also and i will trim this part okay so you may observe here this portion is achieved i will delete this extensions and one portion that means one part is joining these two one bar which is joining these two poles as shown in this figure so i just run this and i will trim the inside portion of this rectangle now you may observe uh, this portion that means up to this it is shown means laminations are shown so what i will do i will just delete this line as i said these are the laminations and winding part is not visible so i will just simply delete this portion and we have to do the hatching you may use hatch or you can draw the horizontal line so instead of doing hatching i will use horizontal line to join or to show as a laminations from this point to this point and after that i will use copy command the excess lines are deleted see we require this pattern up to this also so what i can do i can use extend command this one and select this line press enter and like this i can extend it to here similar way again use extend up to this okay so you may also here this part is over again what else in this top view we have to draw the outer tank so what is the dimensions of this tank from no, top view it will be 829 by 339 so simply i will draw one rectangle of 829 by 339 and for copy and pasting here i will take one or two references like this okay so i will just move this with respect to this base point i will place it here as the distance from both the side is not same so again i will use move and paste it here like this so that the distance from both the side it will remain same again so the in top view all the part is over just we have to show this part of this tank so for that purpose i will use a rectangle in this way but it should be exactly at the center so accordingly i will just move this with respect to this base point and delete this let us draw two lines from this point to up to this and just take a mirror of this so in this way we got this one as these lines are not proper so i will just take a mirror of these with respect to these two points so that it will become symmetrical okay so the top is top view it is over as shown in this figure so let, let us focus on this front view and complete the remaining part okay as i said we have to show here tappings okay and uh, this drain wall so first we will show this drain wall for that purpose i will use a rectangle see here what is the structure in this way and there is one circle so i will use one circle here and move this like this we require one circle inside it so 
I will use offset and choose offset distance like this. Place it here. Again, it should be like and trim the part in between so that it will look like this okay and one more line over here so i just copy this so in this way i have shown the drain wall just let us see the remaining part in next video thank you so much